working. All right, yeah, it seems to be. There we go. Very good. How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. So, um, I just got uh, uh, Spitfire's Albion 5 Tundra, which is a library that uh, ever since I saw the preview, I was pretty excited about because it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. I think it's a very uh, aesthetically pleasing kind of uh, vibe that they're going for. Basically, I guess the idea was that uh, they wanted to capture instruments sort of at their softest. Um, because I guess there's a lot of different, um, well, I guess it just gives it like a, a, a very different sound when you, when you're playing these instruments, um, at their softest dynamics and sort of capturing that. Um, anyways, uh, I haven't actually tried it out at all yet. So, um, I figured I would just basically quote unquote, unbox it in front of you guys and you guys can sort of explore it with me. I'll be reacting to it as well. I, I think it's awesome. Uh, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it how it ends up uh, panning out. Um, just want to make sure that you guys can hear everything, right? Let's see what the comments say real quick. Uh, I really love Spitfire. Yes, I do. <laughs> their stuff is really awesome. Um, I I have way too many of their libraries. I like honestly, like you know, their their stuff is sometimes like sometimes. It's like not necessarily the best scripted or, or like technically the best, but they have the best vibe. Like I really dig the, they, they seem to really uh, focus on just getting a, a sort of vibe. Like a lot of their stuff's recorded in this amazing hall and you get this really, really nice natural reverb. Um, anyways, I'm, I'm talking too much. Let's explore a little bit of this. So I guess let's start off with uh, the orchestra. I just want to make sure everyone can hear me okay, right? Uh, let's see. All right. Yeah, it looks like on YouTube you guys can. I'm going to say what's up real quick. What's up? And here. Get in these comments. All right, so let's see. Um, why don't we start with the strings? Because that's always pretty. So, here, we don't need that. So, oh, so they've got a uh, flautando, which is one of my favorite articulations. They're pretty much the only company that seems to do this. I guess it makes it sound like a flute. That's the idea, but this is consordino, so it's got a mute. Get rid of that. We don't need that. That's really pretty. I dig that. <laughs> All right, I want to turn all of these off. Don't show any more help bubble. There, there we go. So these are the shorts, which interestingly enough is like still kind of long. <laughs> but... And there's like this air to everything. I guess it's because it's recorded so soft. Um. So I'm streaming this on uh, on Facebook and on YouTube. Um, I think there's a lot more interaction on uh, on Facebook, which is why I do both because there is like drastically more interaction and people watching there. But uh, on YouTube, if you do watch it on my YouTube channel, um, it's way better quality. So if you guys want to hear all this stuff in the best quality, maybe switch to that. I don't know. Um, do whatever you want, really. I'm just sort of exploring this. I'm kind of excited. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Okay, frozen long. I don't really know what that means, but let's find out what it sounds like. And 
this is interesting. They've got release control. So usually that means sort of the release of the, in this case, the strings. So it's not just suddenly stopping. But let's turn that all the way down. So that stops in sort of a very fake way. I don't really like that. Let me bring that up here. And that sounds more normal, like with the reverb sort of reacting. And that's like exaggerated. So I actually like this middle setting, I think. Uh, and it looks like you have additional reverb. So that's just the room, and then that's with the added reverb. So that's a bit much there. I actually kind of like the natural room sound. All right, um, moving on. Let's see what we got here. Frozen short. All right, that's a lot more in your face. Very cool. Gypsy long. Don't know what that is either. Definitely the the most uh, sort of bright and aggressive of the the longs so far compared to like yeah. live attack on that double stop fifth long. Super Tasto Long. Let's see. Ah, oh, that's very beautiful. And then the short. So these all seem to have their uh, long and short counterparts. Air and ice. Wow, this is this definitely has the sort of <laughs> most abstract names. <laughs> Normally it's more um, sort of factual. <laughs> this is this is kind of cool. This would be good in the background. Set a mood. Yeah, I dig that a lot. Air and ice, air, ice, and trato. I guess I'd have to read up on what that is. I don't know what that is. Gypsy harmonics. So you gotta go up on the. Ooh, that's cool. Very, very cool. I like that. Harmonic trim. These are such weird articulations. I guess it's it's 
kind of what you need to do at this point because they have everything else covered, so. Solpont CS, so Solpont is a bridge. It's played very close to a bridge, which, which makes it a lot more sort of uh, thin and nasal sounding. But then it's it's interesting because the mute, the Consordino mute will kind of mute the, the harsher frequencies. So it's, it's like kind of two sounds working against one another. But you can hear both aspects. It's definitely the Consordino sound, but very bright. Alright. Brushed Sulpont CS. Wow. It's like harmonics when you hit it. Almost. Very interesting. Some of these, I guess I could use more for effects rather than sort of traditional lines. Silken Consordino Long. That's nice. Okay, well that's uh, strings high, which generally when it's divided, uh, that means that it's the uh, violin one and two sections and the viola, which would make um, strings low the, uh, the, the basses and the cellos. Soft and wild. Wow, what's this? Brushed pizzicato. Consordino. It's a very different sort of pizzicato patch. I like it. I like how loose it is. That's All this stuff is really vibey. I really like this. <laughs> Alright, so this is cole colegno, but trato. I don't know what trato is, but colegno is where you basically use the wood side of the bow and you sort of tap the strings on the, your instrument. So you're sort of getting these like dancing trem effects. Now this is very, very soft. Let's see if we can... Uh... This is actually pretty cool. It's kind of a haunting vibe to it. And I guess the differences in all the, the recordings are making it sort of dance around in the stereo field. Again, I don't know if you guys can hear that uh, on Facebook, but on YouTube you probably can. That's pretty sick. Very, very cool patch. Let's see what else we got. Harmonic trims. Which I think we did already. Light and loose colenio. You know, personally, I don't really know where to use Colenio. I, I mean, it's, I guess it's an effect, but that's probably the least interesting thing to me. Oh, no Ross in long. So it's like going to be a very smooth, very smooth. That is really pretty. I'm going to use that one for sure. Other harmonics. Whoa, that's kind of cool. On the release. It's like you hear the people. <laughs> it's kind of sick. Very cool. Pizzicato Sulpont. They're doing these really loose pizzicato. I wonder if you bring the tightness up if it. That makes a little bit of a difference, but it's still pretty loose pizzicato. Huh, pizzicato and colegno, it sounds like. Don't know how I would use that one. <laughs> Pulsing Consordino. Oh, that is cool. So it's got some movement to it. I like the ones that have movement.
that one is sweet. I like that one a lot. <laughs> Ricochet. Wow, what is that? Oh, this one seems to be set up differently. Okay, so it looks like you have major chords here. Minor chords on this next octave up. These things can be good for like background stuff if you just want to quickly <laughs> add some very specific ambience. Ah, Soul G. That's good. So I don't know if that's always on the, the G string. I think what it means is it's always on the lowest string that these... Or this might just be violas, I wonder. But anyways, it's uh, it's going to sound a lot thicker because it's just played on the low string. I like that. Traveling trims. All right, well, that's kind of sick. How about we take a look at, all right, brass or woods? What do you guys think? All right, brass it is. We'll go with brass high first. So let's see. Air. What's air? Oh, it's literally just air. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's that's interesting. <laughs> I probably would put that to use, honestly. Bursts. It's not what I thought it was going to be at all. That's looping. It's getting a little loud there. I guess the brass is louder. And uh, brass does tend to sort of have a different curve from strings. Strings have a very linear sort of curve i guess it's easier to control the the dynamics but uh, brass does tend to get a little bit louder right at the end that's cool And I like these things. I don't know. Lately, I've been liking these things where if they're recorded on their own sort of loop, it doesn't work for everything. But with this more ethereal kind of library, if you have these things on different loops, they'll they'll sort of create these uh, polyrhythms or just just different tempos at the same time. So you'll get these textures that that will interact differently. If you can hear what I'm talking about there, I think that's really cool. Um, doodle tonguing. That sounds inappropriate. <laughs> you know, this kind of reminds me of um. There's this one Spitfire Labs library. Their Labs libraries are these like free for donation libraries they're like two pounds each and they're actually really sick but um uh they have this one called trumpet fields which i use for ambience but it's got kind of this vibe but this is a little bit cleaner it's that that trumpet fields library is a bit more unpredictable but i always like this vibe it's just very uneasy i guess this is with a mute
Very cool. Finger trills. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I dig this a lot. Man, this brass is almost more impressive. Fluttered. Wow, that's really sick. Granular flutter. Wow, what's that? Okay, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this library. Jeez, that is that's so cool. So there's still no consensus uh, as to whether uh, people on Facebook can actually see this in real time, but um, uh, or not real time. Sorry, in stereo. Sorry, I'm reading and talking. <laughs> Uh, but if you can't hear this in stereo, you're kind of missing out. So I hope Facebook, I know, I know YouTube can see it or can hear this in stereo and I know it'll upload in stereo. I know for a fact that it'll upload this stream to mono on Facebook because they don't care about video quality, but, um, it might actually be live streaming stereo. I think some people said that it does. Anyways, hopefully you can enjoy that, but people on YouTube, you're getting a way better experience um <laughs> sorry uh moving on moving right on hollow well what's that oh that's just the sound there's a lot of interesting modulation with these patches which i think is what makes them cool to me because i like things like that where there's there's motion and movement but it sounds realistic so it's interesting it's like you're it's like you have um you've given instructions to your players rather than you know using effects to get those kinds of sounds mini crescendo Very cool. Oh, multiphonics. I don't know what that is. Ooh. There's not very many, uh, there's like, yeah, there's only like this much range on this, but that's pretty interesting. Overblown. Cool. Not what I thought it would sound like. <laughs> Slight bend. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's definitely for effect. That's sweet. I like that. Stifled. Super air. So I guess they really exaggerated the, the air. There's interesting things happening with the tuning too. Which makes it sound kind of uncomfortable. I like that. And vibrato. Very cool. Just a short patch with... I guess this section and placement. 
Tuning slide taken out. That's just creepy. All right, let's move on to woodwinds. Let's see what that sounds like. So this one looks like we have air again, which is cool. I really like the sound of woodwind air. Oh, and this actually has some tone to it too. That's kind of cool. I would definitely like record this, sample it with render in place, and then mess around with it. That's very cool. Aleatoric overblown. Very cool. <laughs> I like that a lot. Bursts. So it seems like there's a lot of the same sort of patches between the, uh, the brass and the woods. Oh, there's my doodle tonguing. That will never not be my favorite thing to say. Doesn't hurt that it's a really good sounding patch too. <laughs> Alright, finger trills. Fluttered. I'm gonna move a little faster because there's still so much to cover. <laughs> like, I don't wanna see. So that's kind of traditional there. Mini crescendo. Ooh, multiphonics. There are your horror movie patches. Look at that. Overblowing. Oh, you get like a harmonic with that. That's kind of sick. Alright. Pulsing semi crescendo. One of those sort of modulating patches there. I like that slight bend. That would work well with the brass patch. Super air. weird because again with this with this vibrato patch they're really using it to sort of create these modulations it's not like the traditional vibrato which is sort of a musical thing here it's just sort of unsettling i like that the short patch which really isn't all that short oh overblown wow that is cool I feel like you could sample that and use that uh, really effectively in like electronic music. <laughs> Very short. Moving on. 
All right, so that's, I mean, obviously there's the low sections of all that. I'm sure they sound great too, but I want to move on. This is something I was really excited about, the Vral Grid. Um, I haven't tried this out yet, but I know that this is an Evo patch. Look at that. It looks all crazy. Uh, so this is, this is a really interesting thing that really only Spitfire does, like they have their whole series of Evo libraries and I actually own all of them. And I was going to do a, I was going to do a live stream showcasing those. Cause I bet you guys would like that. Um, it's, it's, it's a really interesting concept. And if you remember what I was saying earlier about, I like these things where you have sort of differences, uh, on every note, like unique differences. So that when you do a chord, you have like these different things popping out. It's, it's kind of unique. Well, they basically took that to the nth degree because what they did was they recorded different sort of permutations, or not even permutations, just different versions. Like if we look at these evolutions, okay, so they aren't even labeled, but basically they record, you know, a certain set of notes there, the note center, and kind of everything around it will will have that same movement. So if you look, this is triggering, you know, F sharp three. You can see those notes getting triggered there. And if they're all on the same line, they will all evolve in the same way. But there's 32 evolutions to choose from. So what you can do is then just randomly pick here, or you can even have it randomize it, randomize with visible, randomize in column, you know? So like, and I think they sort of organize this. I haven't explored this one yet, but they sort of organize it in a way where they are sort of similar. In the other Evo libraries, they'll have sort of more traditional ones, more extreme ones, episodic, cinematic, whatever. Here it all seems to just be, it's not, not labeled at all. So I don't actually know what any of these sound like. Um, so let's say, let's say we do all of these in the first one. And basically the bigger the chord you do, in this case, it'll all be triggering the same thing, but let's let's listen to it. And this is gonna be very loud. I just realized. So, as you can hear, that's really cool, but it's all on the same sort of, whatever, however this is evolving, it's kind of doing the same on all the notes. So let's randomize with any. So now these are all doing different, um, and you know, we'll move these so that we don't have two on the same. Yeah. So let's listen to this now.
So it's just an easy way to get some cool vibes. It looks like you have reverb on this. Yeah, you can add reverb and delay to make it even more ambient. So that's very cool. That sounds like it's a synth. Like I don't I thought this might be the um the instruments. I don't it sounds like it's a synth being run through this. But it's really cool. And it's just another Evo instrument. Um but I, I really I, I play a lot with this this kind of stuff. It's very good to kind of inspire the basis of an idea or set some ambience, you know. Um moving right along. Let's see what we got else. So let's look at the percussion. I have no idea what this percussion is gonna be. All hits. So that's like a huge sub hit there. Yeah, that's all very subby hits. And this is interesting. I don't really know. So these all seem like very soft hits. Is there more? That's pretty much it. Very soft, very soft percussion. Which I guess goes in line with what they were doing. That's pretty cool. Like, uh, I guess it fits for like if you're doing more ambient or, or softer stuff. Um, the percussion stuff that comes in Albion 1, for example, is very sort of comprehensive. So um, it's kind of nice to have something that contrasts that pretty well. All right. Loops or Steam Band? And I'll look at some of the comments here. All right, Steam it is. Uh, let's see. Bellow pads. Why not? So this is kind of cool. Like, I really... I, I'm, I'm kind of shocked at the amount of content that the, they always put into the, the Albion stuff. It's an entry point. And again, Albion 1 was my entry point to all the orchestral stuff. And the reason is because it comes with so much stuff. It comes with the, the orchestra, full orchestra, percussion... And then it comes with like all this like weird ambient stuff. So it looks like they did the same thing with this, which makes sense because, you know, this is definitely a library that tends towards ambience based off everything that we've seen so far. So uh, here, let's just open this. Let's see what this sounds like. And this is another... Um, this is another staple for uh, for a Spitfire. Is there what they call Edna EDNA um, sort of sampler or whatever this thing is? So they they have a lot of stuff like this whole Earth library here is is all presets that that work in this sort of thing like this. But they always do this with the Albion stuff. Is like include like a whole bunch of interesting patches. Like, that's, like, instantly usable, you know? Like, that's pretty cool. This, I always figure, is, like, their take on the Omnisphere side of things, you know? Just really cool sound design-y kind of things. There's so many patches, so let's just see uh, something else that... Morse Drone, that sounds pretty cool. Oh, wait, let's not do it like that. Let's just replace it. And it says, it gives instructions like mod wheel is gate depth, so. You can hear how the sequencer is like gating it there. I don't bring it down. Like, 
This stuff, in my opinion, is really cool. It's kind of worth the price of admission alone, because, like, you know, I have a lot of sound design-y libraries that are just sounds like this, and this sort of just comes with this one. Very cool. Northern Lights, that sounds promising. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. I like that. Slow vibes. Yes. Instantly, yes. And this seems to have that pulsating thing when you turn the mod wheel up. But you can adjust these, you know? You can mess around with that. Let's see what this sounds kind of lost in this right now um <laughs> i like these kind of patches um let's take a look at like one or two more here super spread quiet there we go let's see what that sounds like Very cool. <laughs> and uh, let's do very dark drone. That looks like he'll be promising. That is definitely going to get used on future stuff. Um, <laughs> all right, let's, uh, there's, there's more. There's so much more. Oh my God. <laughs> all right, we'll take a look at a few more of these. Jesus. So these are all like pads. Presets. Let's see. Uh, meditation. Why not? Proud chord. Damn, let's see. Four major keys mod wheel, mod wheel is phase align and saturation. That sounds interesting.
This is one of those ones where if you're watching this in mono, you're not getting the full effect. Um, <laughs> well, that's the entire library. But um, let's see. Moving on. Moving right on, dev kids. I guess this is just like an initialized patch or something. All right. We don't need to mess with that because we'll get lost. And then finally, uh, the Brunel loops. So these, I haven't messed with these too much, but these seem to be tempo locked or optimized. <laughs> Fartius Maximus. Okay, we're going to have to do that. That's definitely a good, uh, here, <laughs> glitcher HH. Let's see what this is. You know what I'm curious about is if this changes. Okay, so it will adjust, it will adjust to your doll. I guess it's just optimized for 120. It's telling you what, what sort of set up for. That's pretty cool. So these are more like loop effects. It's good for like cinematic stuff or like... Huh. This is pretty cool. Like putting this over drums would be pretty sick. And they're not synced up, <laughs> so it's kind of doing these weird. That's pretty sick. Super fat pulser. Wow, these are uh, really cool sounds. Filtered scoops. We'll do one more. is interesting um <laughs> all right cool i could play around with these for way too long raw presets oh so i guess this is what they base everything off of the hi-hats interesting So that's that's what all the loops are based off. This is kind of sick. You could just build your own like that. Sweet. All right. Well, that seems to be pretty much everything there. If we go back to the orchestra, we could look... Let's look at one more thing. Let's look at... Uh, let's look at the legato patches. So we got air and ice legato. So this is from before. There's less legato patches than I thought there would be. I guess it's just the strings. Bring this up in volume. So for those of you who don't know what a legato patch is, with any instrument, if you go from one note to the next, um, there's a sort of transition. So most of these libraries will actually record that transition and crossfade it in to make it sound realistic. 
So as opposed to sort of a long patch or whatever, where if you were just playing, there might be a slight overlap or something, or it just won't sound realistic. The legato patch is what, where they have the transition to make it sound realistic. If you listen carefully, you can hear sort of the transition sample. All right, and that Air and Ice preset was very nice. I guess that's their bread and butter sort of sound for this. Uh, and then they have uh, Flautando Consordino, which I really like that. It's very unique, that airy. And then they have the low variation of that. Let's bring this up in volume a little bit. Very beautiful. Um, so yeah, let's see. Let's see. Do we have any questions? There's always a delay here, so it takes a second. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to look at one last thing, even though I lied. We'll do brass low, strings low, or woods low. Which one would you like to see? All right, brass was first. Doodle tonguing. What a gift to the English language. Absolute lowest one there. And we've got our air, some bassy air bursts. tongue mute oh that's sweet I really like this patch
Very cool. Finger trills. Man, the low brass has such a cool tonality to it. It's really sort of muted and soft. It's not what I expected at all. I really like that. That might be one of my favorite sounds so far. Granular flutter. I remember this. I remember really liking this one on the brass high. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that is so, so awesome. I guess this is just a variation. too sick. Hello. That's nice. Just everything on this patch is <laughs> amazing. You can expect to hear me use this a lot. be epic on these low ones. Super air is cool, but I figure I I feel like it works better on the the winds personally. Oh, and then they're interesting vibrato. I feel like calling this patch vibrato is kind of misleading. It should just be like weird vibrato. <laughs> And, you know, one thing I didn't go into uh, earlier is, like, you have all these uh, in-depth control on, like, all of these. So, for example, we're using the tree mic right now, which is, like, kind of further out, and you're, you're getting a bit of the room sound, but they have just the close mic. And then they have the ambient mics, which are out there, and then the outriggers, which I think are just wider trees. So you can get, like, some pretty cool... Like, let's say we do this like that like that if you want the ambience in there you know what? let's turn the reverb off all the way so you're hearing just the room it's a beautiful room sound cuz that's the actual room interacting with it Oh, 
Um, yeah, and you can mix that as you see fit. Um, oh, and you can do no short articulation release trigger. So, so that'll be really short. But you can do... Slider control. There we go. Anyways, there's all sorts of interesting features. I think I've been doing this for long enough. You're probably all bored of watching it, but um, yeah, thank you very much for watching this. This was me sort of discovering this with you guys, so <laughs> it's kind of cool. I should do more of these. Um, but yeah, thanks. I guess I'll see you guys uh, soon enough. Um, I might actually do an official... My, my original plan was to do uh, an Albion 5 sort of presentation after I'd like gotten familiar with it um there's another library i actually really want to show you guys which is probably uh the opposite of what this one's supposed to be which is the orchestral tools uh, metropolis metropolis sorry metropolis arc one which is just everything recorded as loud as possible um so maybe we'll do that one next but what i wanted to do was one where i had something sort of prepared with just this library to show you how i'd go about um using this so I, i'll probably do it i'll probably work on that and then when i put it all together i'll do a stream just showing you um everything and and how i went about putting everything together um but until then see you guys thanks for watching